So the first thing you need to know about playing horn is how to sit. Do this. Put your feet flat on the floor in front of you. Back up straight and everything in line with your back. That means your neck and your head. Once you open the horn case, you should see two parts, the body and the mouthpiece. Setting up the horn is very simple. You take the mouthpiece and put it in this part called the lead pipe. Now let's talk a little bit about how to hold the horn. So I'm gonna zoom in here for a second. Your left hand, if you'll notice, fits nicely. There's a ring here for your pinky, then each consecutive valve gets one finger and the trigger is for your thumb. When you bring the instrument up, most of the weight should be resting on your leg. If I was to bring this up, the bell would be resting on my right leg. For some people, it might be more forward on their leg. For me, it's a little more backwards. The reason for this is because when you bring the horn up to your mouth, it should be comfortable so that you're still up straight and it just touches up to your mouth. You're not going to the mouthpiece, but it's coming to you. The right hand is a little bit different. For this, imagine you're catching a raindrop. So you're making a shape like this with your hand. Then what you're going to do is put it in the bell like this, up to about your first set of knuckles. Your, your thumb should be pointing up towards the top of the bell. It should be at about 12 o'clock if you imagine a clock in here, and your fingers should be between 2 or 3 o'clock. Now that you know all the hand positions, let's talk about embouchure. Your embouchure for this instrument should be about the same as the other brass instruments. So go M, mm, so that your lips come together, but don't go forward, M, mm, or curl in, M. Mm. And then after setting your M, mm, you're going to put a P sound followed by an exhalation. So air is shooting out of your mouth. So it'll be like this. Um, now let's give that a shot on your instrument. Bring it up to yourself. You don't have to bother with any valves yet with your left hand. Make sure your right hand's in position and give a C a shot. There are multiple steps in maintaining the good condition of your French horn. Step one is to make sure that you're oiling your rotors. To do this, you're going to unscrew each of these rotor caps and put a little bit of rotor oil on the part that spins. That's called the rotor. The next step is to take out each slide by holding down that respective valve and or trigger and uh, clean the piece that goes into the instrument and then put a little bit of slide grease on there, work it in. You can do this a couple of times. Make sure that you also do this with the lead pipe slide and the B flat slide if you have a double horn. Lastly, always make sure that you're emptying your spit valve. Mine's found right down here. You also need to make sure that you're emptying your spit out of the instrument as much as possible. My spit valve is found here but it doesn't always get all of the water out of your horn. Sometimes they're caught in these slides. So what you have to do is take out those slides by holding down the trig the potentially the trigger, but the valve, and take that out and just dump it a little bit and then put it right back in with the valve held down the entire time you're taking it out and putting it back in.